Using the Pod HD500's hardware effects loop and your amplifier's effects loop, you can use the four cable method allowing you to virtually place some of the Pod's effects before your amp and some of the Pod's effects after the amp for post-processing using your Pod hardware. Please note that the four cable method is ideal for amplifiers that have a serial effects loop for a fully processed signal to the power amp. Amplifiers utilizing a parallel effects loop can only get 50% processed signal within the amp's effects loop. First, let's make sure that we have the Pod HD500 properly connected to your amplifier, starting with your guitar. Connect the guitar into the Pod's guitar in. Then, connect the Pod HD500's effects send into your amplifier's main guitar input using a mono cable. Connect the amplifier's effects send or preamp output into the pod's left mono effects return using a mono cable. Lastly, connect the pod's left mono quarter inch output into the amplifier's effects return or power amp input. Now, we must insert the effects loop into any one of the available FX blocks in the signal chain of your Pod HD500 preset. Let's use preset 1D, Jimmy Got Gypped, from the best of HD500 set list. Select the empty effects block with the arrow buttons and turn multifunction knob 1 clockwise to select effects loop. Now press the move button and use the directional pad buttons up down left and right to place the effects loop anywhere within the signal chain of your preset. For this tutorial, Let's place it right after the mixer and before the reverb of this preset. With this placement, your guitar signal will be processed by the Pod HD500's first set of effects before the effects loop, then sent from the effects send to the amplifier's front input. From there, the signal is sent into the preamp of your amplifier, then back out from the effects send of the amp to the left mono effects return of the pod to be processed by the effects that are placed after the effects loop. This audio is finally sent from the pod HD500's output into the effects return of the amp, through the power amp and heard out of the speaker. You may need to adjust the send and return levels of your pod HD500's effects loop along with any send and return levels that your amplifier may have in order to achieve unity gain which is attained when the volume from your amp is the same when using the pod in this 4 cable method as it would without the pod being connected at all. Once this is set up properly, you can begin exploring the possibilities of your pod HD500 with the 4 cable method.